What's up guys, it's your boy DD Kills and today is Create a Class Episode 5 with the VMP. So first off we are using the ELO site, extended mags, rapid fire and the perks they're always the same except for the change of 6 cents. So we are actually running Ghost, Hardwired, Blast Press and 6 cents instead of Overclock we have been recently been using due to challenge purposes as I have stated in previous videos. We obviously got to use primary gunfighter one, which you shouldn't really need to because you could just put a secondary instead. So that's my mistake. And also perk one greed. I put a screenshot to make it easy for you guys to pause and to look at and copy. So let's get straight into the game play. So we're doing hard point on stronghold. Uh, we've just joined, so we're not sure if it is like halfway in or not. Four against four, which is oh, here we go. Five against five. Uh, just for you guys, this isn't a live commentary. I just can't really remember what happened. Uh, I don't even know if I done well or not. But all I know is I use the VMP. Uh, so let's get started. I've chosen it as Merc Eight. It's one of the ones I prefer not to use as often. So let's get started. And the match has just started. So there's no disadvantage or advantage to anyone out there. So, it's double XP, double weapon XP, it's nice to see those two at the top over there. Um, at the time of the recording, this was on Tuesday when it just came out. So over here, I've started to rush already, as you can see on the only triangle on their side of the map. Our jokes. And then we see the little blue one just popping up there, he gets popped. Because he's not as quiet or as sneaky as me. I could have gone for the kill behind me, but I thought, why... Would I want to do that and give away a position? So I thought, might as well shoot the guys that may attack me first. So I got that kill. I got an assist over there. It probably done me a favour. I don't think I'll get the kill over there. But the ELO say is really good. As you just saw, it helps such a big time. People say, oh, it sucks, this and that. But reality-wise, it doesn't. It's really, really good. It helps you so much. And there's a guy chilling over here. So I thought, one bang done nose breaker apparently so yeah and at this point there's a guy just chilling near the bit B domination flag is so I kind of got killed Jack even though I didn't hit him but I reckon I would have killed him anyway so Elo site is good compared to the iron site I don't like as much on the VMP it kind of sucks uh, kind of looks like the ASM1 iron site from advanced warfare I really hated that gun uh, game in fact so I'm surprised I even remember the name of the gun so over here we have a little confrontation next to the little truck. The guy comes, tries to one bang me. Luckily, 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 I did not even think about one banging him back because I would have got killed because he did attack me first. And if I was to hit him, I would have probably got him marker and died. So good thing you there by me to just shoot and spray. So we're using extended mags. Extended mags is really, really useful for the VMP, especially out of all the other guns you could think of. As you can see over here, I got a double somehow. I'm on a kill streak from the beginning. Pop him as well. We're on a little triple feed. Uh, we got the Cerberus. And then there's a guy creeping up here. Thanks to the headset, I actually knew where he was, but then I got popped. So we started on a 10 to 1, which is a high. And I just put my service anywhere so I can avoid getting killed many times. With the lightning strike, I just guess where to put it. Uh, I wasn't sure if the hard part was inside or outside. I'm not really a fan of Stronghold, the map. So, uh, extended mags are really good because the fire rate in the VMP is just ridiculously high. So it will help big time if you're on a 2v1 or 3v1. In fact, for that matter, it will help you a lot. Rapid fire, I'll put on there because I like... Because I'm a guy to rush, it's really good good for me to just spray the bullets at them to avoid getting killed I could just spray more bullets so if you think about it it's two extra bullets per one you would normally do so it's much more quicker and I like it a lot I mean people do decide to use fast mags but for me the reload speed is already quick enough uh, you can use suppressor but on the VMP the damage isn't as high I reckon so there's no point using it only use rapid fire if you're rushing like I do if you don't rush and you stay a bit laid back, there is no point because the recoil is just so high. 
the gun just goes up, down, and it's just so, so quick. So there's no point, only use it if you're rushing. And uh, we are actually going to use no secondary attachments because I made the mistake of having primary gunfire one without an attachment because if I do then I can't have two perks ones. So that's my mistake and I still haven't changed it until I noticed it right now. So that's my mistake. Uh, we are running six cents and six cents over there just saw it helped big time. I thought I could kill this guy over here but I thought let him guinea pig just in case but it's a big mistake because he got the kill anyways. So ghost as I've said in my previous videos, there's not even a point explaining it. Uh, you guys already know what it does, what I've said. Hardwired, same thing. Blast suppressor, also the same thing. But, in all honesty, you don't... Uh, I don't think there's any point using Ghost on this class particularly. Um, only because with Ghost, it under you're undetected by UAV, but... You're shooting anyway without a silencer, so you will be on the UAV when you shoot. So, I wouldn't... I mean, I use it because I'm used to using Ghost. It helps me a lot because I'm a guy to just chill back and only shoot when I need to. But, I mean, you could use Flat Jacket because in this map you could be throwing grenades across the maps. Uh, if I'm right, Scavenger is a perk 1. I can't really remember. Six cents is really useful to have, especially on a big map like this, so you can see your surroundings if anyone's near you, or it just helps a lot. And um, obviously, you're gonna need perk one greed, not primary gunfire one, so ignore that completely and replace that with uh, I mean, like a akimbo pistol if you're in a bad situation, you can just pop them quick as you can. And yeah, it's just really, really good to use. And at this point, we're getting proper dominated. There's no domination. We're getting murked in hard point. 82 to 138. And that's not really good. That's pretty damn bad. So this guy was going to about to pop me with a shadow claw over there. Jewel wield as well? Really? Oh, wow, it must be really, really good. So yeah, I'm quite pleased that I've got a, well I'm not gonna say decent gameplay because it's not really the best this is my average gameplay but uh, I'm glad to be releasing more of these creator class I've got quite a few more coming up um, I've been hearing feedback that people actually enjoy it and they make the classes and they do well with it so that's really like a good news for me and for you guys to try it out I really don't know if all of you really watched the whole entire video or maybe just watched the beginning with the setup but it really does help uh, me notice if you guys want more or not so at this point you think it's game over honestly you think 102 to 169 good number that <laughs> you think it's game over simple as but you know I'm, I'm not gonna say anything I might have already said too much but it doesn't mean much makes no sense but we might end up winning this we might end up losing this who knows I don't know I can't really remember so this will be a quote surprise to me so we are getting dominated our team isn't the best and I got a triple war machine you gotta love a war machine it's basically a noob tube but a bit less power but it can be overpowered at the same time because you can spray 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 Spray, just like when Rihanna says "quack quack 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 quack," flipping annoying because you can say "spray" the same thing. And uh, yeah, so at this point, the reason why I'm using six cents is because I finally finished gold armor on some of my classes that are important and that I wanted to get. So for the purifier, um, I might actually make a video on how to get uh, dark matter really really quick. Um, it only took me. Well, it didn't take me long because I didn't play the game as much when I was doing the challenge, but it was uh, at least uh, 16 or maybe 12 hour game time, so that's pretty damn sick. And I'll explain what you need to do, the best way to do it, what guns for what map, and I'll probably do a specialist one to get gold armor, 
um, the special one, the specialist ones are actually not as easy as people think. It's quite difficult. Cause the only reason why it's difficult is, you know, it's just hard. And at this point, I got my brother haymaker. Round of applause. That's it. Yep, yeah, bring it in. Come on, come on. The only reason why I got a round of applause because every time I got killed, what, do get killed by a haymaker? Not even a brekkie, but a haymaker. We should do a round of applause to show our appreciation of getting murked by that gun. If you're in a bad situation or in a good situation. And at this point, people think, yes, got a combat going on. 160, 203. It's not that much of a difference, guys, guys, guys. You know maths, that is quite a big difference. It's just like, it's just, if we, if I had a team full of six people, so I was the person to just go around and get kills, maybe defend or what I could do, and we had, I'm not going to say four, but I would say three people that go around the hard point and secure it all the time. So I made that two people that rush, me and someone else, three people inside, that would be just really, really good, and if we had good players. So in the sense of, we won't lose many games. It would actually be really, really fun to play. Because we may not win every single match, but every single match will be different and more interesting. So at this point, we have just popped up with only four bullets. I'll think I'll pick up the KN44, but no, nope, I get popped instead. Use my lightning strike, random, yet again. The hard point change, and I mistakenly must have put it inside a building. Guaranteed no kills, but I only got one somehow. So, better than nothing I have said before. Um, but yeah, the VMP. But, 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 I would say use the VMP if you are a rusher like me. If you can't back or stay laid back, chilled or whatever, instead of rushing, don't use it. The fire rate is immensely high, so the recoil is immensely high itself. The gun will be going up and down, as I've said before, so don't use it if you are not a rusher. Rusher-wise, it's a really good option because you can just spray the heck out of them. Uh, the damage-wise, it's not the best, but still, because of the fire rate, it helps big time. And this is the point where Sosa Bennett's actually going on a little uh, kill feed at the bottom of the left, as you can see. We were losing by a big margin, 243 they've got. At the point, we must have had at least 160 or something along those lines. And I thought I'd go in there, try clear it out. So at this point, the comeback is really, really on until I saw 248. But never give up hope. Never. Just like when Chelsea were down during the Champions League final. Oh, damn, so Bay In the gameplay, lads and ladies, you might even hear him screaming. So, the oh, if I didn't get killed, we may have had that. 247, 248. This is a really, really close match. I sound like a commentator for blaming boxing or something. All right, kill this guy. That's we it. fucking won! <laughs> That's the reaction all you guys need to know. Remember, rate, comment, subscribe. Peace out.